I like to push myself to the limit when it comes to games, especially Breath of the Wild. I like to speedrun it, I like to do insane damageless speedruns, I like to do all this crazy stuff. So I thought, what's the next step? What is the next level of crazy Breath of the Wild speedruns? You might think damageless plus DLC? No, no, no. Let's let's not get ahead of ourselves, okay? No, the next step is foot run. Not only did I just beat the game with my feet, but I did every dungeon, and I was the first person on the planet to do it. Now, this video has been a few years in the making. I accidentally deleted it a few times, didn't finish it a few times. You get the gist. Let's get right to the good stuff. Let me explain the rules to you as per tradition. I have to complete all Divine Beasts and defeat Ganon using nothing but my feet. To prove that I use nothing but my feet, in my livestream, I had a gross little foot cam right here. So if I were to give up and use my hands, you would see it. If I also are unable to get by certain sections of the game, the run would be over and I would have to start over. Now I know what you might be thinking, it sounds a little bit easier than Damageless, but trust me, I would rather do Damageless again because this damn feet run made me lose my mind. Now the way this video is going to work is I will pop in every once in a while to explain some of the things I'm doing and why, but other than that, I'm going to let past Jordan do a lot of the talking. If you do enjoy the video, please sub, because when Tears of the Kingdom comes out, we are for sure hopping on the damageless train once again. Oh my god, my alarm's going off! Jordan, it's stream time! Now, before the run starts off, I had to make sure the controls were more feet friendly. By swapping around a few things, my bright idea was to press the controller sticks in for the shoulder buttons, since hitting the shoulder buttons with my toes was basically impossible. What does the L do again? <laughs> After a little bit of fiddling with the controls, we are off to start the run. Oh man, my feet are real nimble today because I work today. All right, so let's just jump into it. Okay, so we want to start off by going... Jesus Christ. Okay, I'm a bit rusty. We haven't played any other fiend a little bit. Oh, sh... No, I didn't mean to do that. I tried doing a fall damage cancel. It was not happening because I didn't have a shield. This is so hard. But I've mastered the art of using my toes to move. One's damageless hundo with feet? Never. Okay, um... Oh yeah, I killed this guy last time, huh? So in Magnesis, if I don't kill this guardian, it will kill me, since I take so long using my feet. So there is no real choice but to end its whole career. I am playing with my feet. These are my hands. What do I do with my hands? Can I just put them on my lap awkwardly? I could do- yes, I could- I could type in chat. Hello, I am Jordan. I am currently speedrunning with my toes. That is the hardest thing ever, to press the shoulder buttons. That's the hardest thing with feet. All right, 2142 bombs. That's an absolute win, if you ask me. Bro, I just realized that fucking Naboris escort mission is gonna be so hard. Same with fucking Sidons. God, Saint, all of them are gonna be hard. Ah, oh, shit. This might take a while. Okay, this is the hardest part of the run. It's walking in a straight line. But this is a lot harder than it looks, chat. Having this amount of control over Link right now, I'm insane. Dude, why are you right on my shit? Dude, just start swinging. And with that, Plateau's basically done. Do my feet cramp up from this? Yes, they do, Holden. Especially because I worked eight hours today, too. They hurt. <laughs> okay, don't don't jump off tempo of time. Okay, glider has been acquired. So the question has been answered. Can you beat the Great Plateau with only using your feet and a pro controller? Yes, you can. Now, after we finally finished Plateau, my bright big brain plan was to go to every Divine Beast using Moon Jump, activate the shrines, and then use those teleports later to ease the strain on my feet. It sounds good on paper, but this actually ended up being a horrible idea for reasons that will be shown to you. Over time, you will probably see my soul leave my body. Hello, Jordan. This is moderately disturbing. What else is new? No! I wasn't ready! I was getting myself ready! Fuck! Bro, you see nothing. Shut up. Bro, you saw nothing! Come on. Thank God. Okay, we got a horse. Ah, oh, shit. Get in there, Link. Get in there, Link. But we're not fighting the Lionel. No, 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 no. We're going right to the armor, baby. So the reason why I want to get the DLC armor is for the attack up bonus. If you get all three pieces, you get the third attack up bonus, which makes killing things a lot easier and faster. Okay, 
Phantom helmet acquired. All right, we have a long trek ahead of us. Let me just try to fucking soothe him so he doesn't keep getting pissed. Yeah, run into the wall. That sounds great. Why? Why? Why are you so upset? What's wrong? What? What's wrong? I can't wait to get moon jump, so I won't have to deal with this thing anymore. Twenty minutes later. Honestly, these damn horses do not listen. I wish this would have been easy, but this was actually such a hard task just because of how hard it was to control the horse and tame a horse. Whose bright idea was to bring these back in Tears of the Kingdom? Dude, I didn't think this was going to be so hard. Like, this was going to be the easy part. That's it! That's it! Oh! Okay. Look at him go. Look at him go! Oh, man! What a rush! And to re eventually get Moon Jump, though, we are off to get the Shrine teleports. So the the real way I get rid of this glitch is if I all I have to do is mount a creature, and it persists through save. So if I die or reload, it'll still I'll still have it. So for example, if I get shot by a guardian that's over here right now and die, I'll still have Moon Jump. This is any percent yes. God damn it! Okay. You're insane. I don't think I'm insane. I think I'm just stupid. A lot of time on my hands. Or a lot of time on my feet. I look like I'm watching my stream with y'all. I mean, I'm basically doing that. I don't know what else to do with my hands, so they're just kind of chilling on my on my body. This isn't necessarily hard. It's just annoying and it hurts your feet. I mean, actually, I don't know if it's hard yet. We haven't even finished the run. Ask me again when I finish. Okay. We're almost to Ruta. By almost, I mean we're still far as fuck. Uh -huh. I thought it was gonna hit me right off the mountain. I just came up. That would've been funny. The f am I watching? I'm being the game with my foot, feet. Why? That was a sub goal. Hey, also, why not? <laughs> I am a big shit in my mind. My mind is just that powerful. What if I was like, see, you're like, really focusing? Let's get this, let's, let's get this cutscene over with. All subs today will be going to my chronic foot pain injury. True. Oh, there's more guardians. Jesus Christ, why is there so many all the fucking time? Oh, no. Dude, why do you gotta make fun of the way I sit? It's fucked up. How's the foot run going? Uh, it's going. It's very slow, very slowly. It's still going, though. God damn it. How far are we going back? Alright, we gotta moon jump all the way back over there now, smile. Still no electric arrows, huh? Dude, I still got no electric arrows. I really wanted some too. Where are we going next? Let's go to... Let's go to Gerudo. Okay, my feet are starting to cramp. I'm pressing this button over and over again. This what is a normal speedrun. What are you talking about? Does this not look normal to you? Nothing to see here. Yeah, exactly. You get it. Nothing weird about this. I'm gonna be the streamer of the year playing my fucking toes. Absolutely. I can't wait to be on another Polygon article. Breath of the Wild fan plays game with his feet. Amazing. How's it going to me? I'm doing good. How are you? Other than my feet hurting from doing this dumb run, doing good. How many hours are left in the run? I have no clue. At this point, all we have to do now is do the Divine Beast and then go to Ganon and we're done. But the issue is how long is it going to take us to kill the Divine Beast or the Fire Blights and everything? They might be hard. But yeah, basically, all we have to do left is the dungeons now. Unless that happens, then that's not good, actually. Shit. We're just gonna walk for a little bit, so I can rest my feetsies. Don't hit me again. Please, RNG. Thank you. <laughs> Finally, the city. The first Divine Beast will be Rudania, which honestly made me want to lose my mind because of the escort mission. <laughs> Having to hit the Flying Guardians with the boxes was low-key impossible. I don't have the feet dexterity for this. Honestly, I don't think a singular human does. Note to self, I'm actually never doing this again. Ah! I just want to aim at him, and but the game does not want me to aim right now. Okay. F off! Did I hit him? I can't fucking tell. Jesus. I'm like genuinely annoyed with the game. <laughs> I don't know what I expect. I'm playing with my feet, but. We're almost fing done with this goddamn divine beast. 
This is gonna take a little bit. No, mm -mm, mm -mm. no, no, no. What is your deal, game? Just lock off, please. This is like playing Breath of the Wild if the game doesn't want to work. Oh, he's stuck. Rudad is done. Oh, thank God. Next up is Mado, and of course, aiming with a bow is also impossible as much as anything with your feet. No, I am not, Taba. Ugh. Ugh. Oh, I missed all three of those again. Hold on, we gotta fucking like focus this real quick. And we in! Good job, Jordan. Link, what what are you do even doing? What I'm just faffing every button. Just uh, oh my god! Get 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 get, 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 get stop shooting arrows! <sighs> All right, this is the last one. Then we have to fight the boss, and I get to lose my mind some more. Why aren't you locking on anymore? No, just lock on. Thank God. First try. Now in Ruda, this is where things go a little south. Remember earlier when I said I couldn't aim? Well, it's mostly because of how much my feet hurt from this run. At the time, I was working a job that required me to run all day. So this just layered on top of that was killing my feet. So for the day, I decided to go to bed and get some much needed feet rest and finish the run the next day. I gotta, I gotta like warm up. Let me just hold the controller like a normal controller real quick. There we go. <laughs> it just looks like hands. It's so weird. <laughs> gotta hold it in the air. It doesn't count. All right, here we're, we're, we're here with my pro controller. Gonna play some Breath of the Wild. So this is the issue that we were having yesterday. Ugh. You know how hard it is to press A without fucking looking with your toe? Dude, why? Mm, it keeps going in a spot where I can't hit it. And now it's going up front! Stop it! God damn it! You should use your hands. Wow. We'll give you that idea. I'm getting so fucking good. Come on now. Look at that shit. That was so fast. Absolutely gaming. God damn it. I fat footed the goddamn slice button. What the fuck was that? Dude, I'm playing with my feet. What do you mean? No, dude. Oh! I just did that and now I'm gonna sort of lost me because it's gonna take too long to turn the camera around and aim again. Oh my god! Slide off, come here! Slide off, no! Oh, it's over. Sweet release, thank you. This has been the biggest test of my patience. In a really long time. First try! Oh my god, easy clap. Next up is the final beast, which means Koga is up first. Now, I decided to challenge myself a little bit. I've already done Moon Jump, I've already done a few other glitches. I wanted to see if it was possible to do a shield clip in order to just skip the whole hideout. Like I did say earlier, this is a speedrun, so I felt obliged to do this. But at the beginning of the video, you know I changed around the inputs to compensate for my feet. So I have to basically relearn this whole glitch because the inputs are totally different. <laughs> but it doesn't even matter because I did it first try! Holy fucking shit, I wanted to save that forever. I just want to save it forever. Oh, I just whistled. Hold on, chat. Where it might be fucked here. You see nothing. No, no. I'm so sorry. But then I died. God damn it, no! So I gotta do the clip again. <laughs> First try? Now let's kill Koga and finish up this damn awful run. Stop. <sighs> Whatever. 
I'm the first person in history to get hit by this ball. Alright, he's dead. Thank god. It's all I, it's all I just didn't want to die. Cool. Wow, that was a lot easier than I thought. Alright, I don't know if I can do this, but I gotta try. Stop. My toe keeps letting go of the button. Dude, stop with the cameras. Why is this the hardest thing ever? Hold on. Huge focus. Okay, good one, Link. You're funny. <laughs> Why did you have to touch that? <laughs> Everything has to be perfect. Okay, I kind of want to wait for Gales here. How long does Gales take to come back? <laughs> Pro controllers I have right next to me. Okay, it's on, right? Oh my fucking god, damn it. I fucked up. I'm fucking up. I'm fucking up. I had to Google how to do this puzzle. I think out of all the Divine Beasts, Naboris probably has the hardest puzzles. That's why when I casually play this game, I like this beast the most. <laughs> no! Can I like just wait this out or do I have to hit him with these? I don't know if I'll be able to do that. I keep actually pulling my bow out and it cancels Magnesis. I just need to try to pull out the bow or Magnesis and just walk around Magnesis for a little bit. Dude, just pick it up! Ugh, this is so much harder to beat. Off. What? The there is valor in dodging. Yeah, there is. Shut up. How did that not work, dude? The fucking super fine. Oh, oh, I'm so bad. Oh, it's done. Oh, finally, fucking. That is the most annoying thing on the planet. The run's not even over yet, too. That's the sad part. I just to do more. <laughs> okay, here comes a moment of truth. Now, excuse me while I beat Breath of the Wild with my toes. Oh, look at these fucking shots, baby! Thank God Gan is just a fucking giant hurt box. Let's feed Beast Ganon time! Come on! Stop choking! Oh! 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 Oh, thank god! I don't feel my feet anymore! I'm so fucking happy. I'm so fucking happy. <laughs> and with that, that finishes up this meme of a run. Again, this was harder than damageless. A lot harder than damageless. I would not recommend doing this at all unless you were a monkey or something. The foot strain, the just annoyances of having the control link with your feet was the most aggravating and tilting thing on the planet. If you did enjoy the video, please sub, leave a comment, and like below. We're trying to get back in that YouTube algorithm because, yeah, they hate us. Um, Tears of the Kingdom comes out soon. See you guys then. Later. <laughs> you guys are so funny. I never want it ever again. It's never gonna happen again. That was the most worst thing I've ever done in my life.